What is going on, everybody? It is Alexander Williamson here with the secret history in your aquarium. I'm doing an unboxing today. It is a beautiful day in the Puget Sound. It's nice. It's a little partially cloudy, but the sun's peeking through. You can see the mountains and the water out there. And uh, all my tanks are scaped and cleaned. This one's a little overgrown, but it's all tidied up. All the algae's pretty much gone. So life's good, and I just, it just got better. So I just got this package from Han, uh, Han Aquatics, however you want to say it, Han Tran over at Han Aquatics. I have known of him for years. He was lurking around, or I should say I was lurking around. He was uh, sharing plants and information uh, on the planted forums and stuff long, long before uh, I was really into it. He was actually one of the people on the boards that I would read him and, um, you know, Tom Barr, people like that, uh, before I got back into the hobby uh, several years ago. So uh, it's kind of come full circle. You know, it was kind of like, hey, uh, I was kind of, you know, cyber stalking this guy because he's very knowledgeable and he has one of the most amazing collections of uh, rare and just really hard to find plants. You know, I will usually go to aquatic arts or aquarium zen my local fish store places like that for things but when you need something super rare uh or something just you know that nobody seems to have he's got it <clears throat> so some of the stuff that he sent me here uh i bought some stuff off of him some of the stuff he sent me he's like well i'll give you some extra if you just make a video when you unbox uh or if you make videos on the species as you keep them uh just mention where you got it and so that's what i'm doing guys uh got them from hanaquatics.com and uh, it's an easy to navigate site. Lots of cool stuff on there. He's got so many freaking plants. It is bonkers. But here we've got a boost. And uh, I'm trying to do it up upstairs uh, today, which isn't the usual unboxing locale. Just because I've got nice natural light. It's kind of that golden hour. Uh, but this is, uh, you know, a uh, Busa Philandra and, uh, or Buche Philandra. Uh, nice golden leaves with a brown kind of amber stem. I bet that reddens up a little bit, and I bet the leaves get uh, kind of like an iridescent gold and light green, dark green color. Um, I haven't had this variety. The uh, spath spathufolia is actually uh, the variety name. And with Boos, it's a little uh, wonky. I'm just going to have to say that. Uh, because it is, like, they kind of make things up with it sometimes. This is something I'm really excited about. At first I thought it was a big crip when he sent it to me, but then I saw that it was a super rooted, super healthy, just awesome, and I hope you can catch the color here. It's got purple in it, it's got crimson, yellow, green, this kind of dark olive green, and then it's got this, like, golden shimmer uh, kind of to it, if you can see that through the bag, uh, but you guys will see it in upcoming scape videos and things, and then it's kind of, if up close, it's not really apparent, but it's purple variegation on the, the veins of the plant, and this plant is one that, uh, you'll see sometimes me bold eye green, or red, but this one is a, uh, a different line, it's called pink, but it's really more of a kind of a, a purple, I guess. It's a Logan, uh, Loganandra uh, Me Bold Eye Pink is the strain name on this one. Uh, but I'm really excited. It, it's a low light plant and it does well. It sometimes melts back just like a crypt. You almost treat it like a crypt. Uh, but it is from India and it is a sweet plant. So thank you. Han, that's awesome. Also, another one that I've been hunting for, I bought one stock off someone for, I don't know what it was, eight bucks or something. Uh, he has Limnophilia bellum. 
I have a lot of limnophilias downstairs and a few uh, down in here, the hippodroids and, uh, you know, limnophilia aromatica mini, limnophilia aromatica spiralis. I've got a bunch of different varieties, and this is another limnophilia that I really, really have been hunting. Uh, don't find it in stores and things. Don't find tissue cultures of it. But it's more of a subtle, it's got nice purples and uh, gold colors in it. And it can have one leaf that's yellow, one leaf that's purple, one leaf that's green. Uh, if you have it in high CO2 and in high light, it grows quickly. But you can also grow it in low tech tanks. So that's what's great. Most of the stuff he sent me, it seems like so far, is. Uh, good for both. Now this, uh, this is interesting. This is really pretty, man. So this would be, this is like a flame sword, but this is a daughter of the flames of one of his big flame swords, clearly. And this is purple all the way to purple black, and it's called a uh, purple flame knight sword. So this is just an awesome South American plant. Uh, I hope I can keep this little guy alive. I don't know if I'll put it in the tank up here or downstairs, but that's definitely one uh, that I don't want uh, to have any trouble with. And the nice thing is even when he includes a small plant like this, he's got a decent root structure and they're all really healthy. You can see they're all really uh, meaty and healthy and that's that's really nice i really like that then here we've got a big old thing of uh of a new plant hold on one sec i wrote down the actual species name because i only know it by uh p india lately uh on online and stuff but this plant has some rad color in it you can see here when it's uh immersed it also can have really crazy colors in it uh it just shows you some of the potential but this one is uh uh i think it's called I, i'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation but per uh persicaria persicaria uh is the name of the plant and uh, it's it's kind of like a stem plant it's it, it reminds me of um, you know, some of the broadleaf, Ludwigia broadleafs, um, or something like that, but it's, it's a beautiful plant, I've seen pictures of it growing, kind of looks like bamboo underwater, it's a little more sparse, like, not as densely leafed as some of the Ludwigias in, in even intervals like that, but I'm excited to see what it does, I'll probably take half of these and put them in, uh, in my, uh, low-tech and the other half in high-tech, just to see what happens. All right, let's get through the rest of these because I know I'm talking a lot. All right, so then we've got Rotala Pearl. This is great. This is one of my favorite Rotalas, and I just haven't had it for a while. I haven't seen it for a while. But it's like mini uh, butterfly, uh, the Macaranda, uh, or Macaranda. I, you know, I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of a lot of things, so apologies. But uh, it's, it's similar to the mini butterfly red, except this one stays in these tight little ringlet leaves, and I love spirals, I love curves, and it kind of looks like, um, uh, fiddleheads or something like that sometimes, so that's another one I'm excited to have, it can be high tech or low, but of course, like all Rotalas, the more CO2 and light you give it, the more color you get, and it's going to grow like crazy. If you give it a lot of light, sometimes you can limit the growth a little bit because it doesn't reach as much as when it's not. Uh, here we've got Rotala Florida. Where do you guys think that's from? But believe it or not, this is a rare. I cannot find this anywhere for, you know, under 30 bucks or 20 bucks a stem, and he's got a great deal on his site. Um, some of the stuff he had, like the purple flame swords, he actually has uh, prices on that that are great. Like all these plants, I think all but one or two are available on his website right now. This is the one where he's gone above and beyond. Thank you so much. I just saw that this was in there. And this is Anubius Pinto. Now, I've had Anubius, uh, the complete, whatever you want to call it. There's a lot of names, variegated, marbled. Pinto or 
uh, sometimes the albino. But the problem is when you have it with too much white on the leaves, you actually get into serious problems. Uh, it cannot photosynthesize and it will die. So you can feed it from its roots and that will be uh, a way to try to keep like an all white one together. But as of now, unless you're growing it like hydroponically and, you know, it, it just doesn't last. And so people make clones of them, but they just die. But with this, this is a very sustainable, there's green leaves and there's marbled leaves. You can then trim it. Um, if you really want to take a picture and make a good presentation, you can trim it off. But look at the fat, chunky rhizomes he left on there. This stem is just thick. It's long. I mean, that, he could have sold that as two plants with this stuff being such a hot commodity right now going. I've seen it go for up to 80 bucks for, for it. And people will pay that for a leaf like this that they think is all white. But they don't realize that the plant will randomly sprout whatever it sprouts. So that's awesome. I'll let that grow. And I'll probably be cutting that in half to propagate too. Uh, also, he included uh, <clears throat> this... Uh, uh, Riccio uh, Carpus, I think it's called, uh, Natans. It's kind of like, uh, it's, it's, if you can see that purple crimson auburn kind of color, it's a floating, a floating plant that just looks like torn up little leaves. It's got kind of a cool effect. It can look like, um, in a desert when you've got shat shattered sand where it's raised up and cracked all dry. It can give that effect to the top of your tank, and it also sucks nitrates out, which is nice. Uh, and it's a good spot for fry to hide against, so that the the adult fish looking up, you know, floating plants always give them somewhere to hide. I haven't kept this one personally, but I've seen it look killer in some aquascapes and ponds and things like that. Uh, so I'm really stoked that he sent that too. Uh, I'll try it out in a smaller tank first and then uh, let it go wild if, if, if that works out. All right, so then we've got um, Hooker, Her, Hooker CA Moss, uh, which is a beautiful, it's almost like a Rikia uh, um, or a Fissidens, I should say. Sorry, not a Rikia. Uh, but it is just a really cool, chunky moss thick stem that has almost like a purple red color to it and then more of a seaweedy sawasertong uh feel or pelia feel to the actual moss as as an uh submerged form now lastly he included some really cool little uh uh 3d printed uh figurine i don't know what to call them parts I, i'll call them parts uh, for aquascape tanks, for ADA style tanks, but you can use them in any style tanks. And in a tank like this, where I'm out of room, they're great for, you just suction cup them to the side, and you can use them as a new perch. So up here I've got room for them, even on the front, but in the back I've got room for them. And you've got everything from these corner ones, where you can train a moss to grow onto that, uh, and then there's ones that just stick straight out. Uh, there's dark, there's light. These things are great. They're circular ones. You can get all sorts of different effects. And for an aquascape, you don't see this soon. You know, it, it grows over. You gotta have a little patience, but it grows over. There's different styles. There's comb styles. There's lattice too, where you can, um, I've seen this stuff where people also vertically put stem plants through and let them uh, get their nutrients from the water column but for this this one just goes you know like this or like this and you can just grow uh interesting formations halfway up the tank you don't need to actually uh build up a display like like this i had to build up stone all the way up whereas in the back i could just attach one of those with a suction cup put attach with a uh, piano wire or super glue my boost and some moss and maybe some uh, some ferns java ferns or something and it looks like I've terraced my tank but I've used absolutely no I didn't I don't need to fill in that back area so those are really cool 
and that's a new uh, thing that's up and coming. Look at look at all these plants. So thank you so much, Han. Uh, that is very nice of you. Also, I've got some stickers, which I'm stoked about, uh, to show off my support for Han because uh, I've secretly looked up to him for a long time, and recently been able to get in whole uh, in touch with him and uh, you know chat a little bit and also get a hold of some of these plants that I've ordered from him in the past, but this time I said, hey, what if I show them on my channel, you know? And so he hooked me up with uh, a bit of a deal. You will also be hooked up with a little something. If you check back in the info, we'll have a, a, a coupon code for you, and uh, he always, you know, does well. Tell him you came from my channel just so he can track, you know, if, if it's worthwhile sending plants, and then I can share with you guys more plants. Uh, so, yeah, that's, I mean, that's greedy, but I want, I want uh, to be transparent on this. I mean, I paid, I paid for these plants, but he hooked it up way beyond what I expected or, or deserved. <laughs> I guess I was a good boy for Christmas on the list, but really excited about all these plants. Uh, and we'll check back with them. We'll do some species profiles and stuff. And, you know, one last time, that's Han Aquatics, H-A-N Aquatics. You can see it right there. And uh, beautiful plants, the rarest of the rare he has. If you want your common stuff, go to Aquatic Arts, go to your local fish store and breeders. Uh, but if you don't have a connection that has, you know, the rare of the rare, you do now. So... Give him a, a holler. He's a really kind guy and really, really uh, well-versed and intelligent in the oddball and crazy stuff. So, all right, guys, take it easy. Please like if you like this kind of stuff. Subscribe if you want to see more about these plants, see them grow out and change color and all that stuff. And if you're feeling squirrely and want to help me afford this kind of stuff, uh, I do have a Patreon, so all that is linked below. There's also a Facebook group and a newly formed Instagram, so check out the secret history in those places as well. All right, guys, you have a great weekend, and take care. I'll talk to you guys later, and thanks again, Han Tran. Talk to you guys later. Uh, oh, and I'll be showing you some microscope stuff uh, later on. I'll save it all for later, but take it easy, guys. Bye.